Okay, so Raging Ramen here with a new game for you. Uh, it's called Horus. It's a very story rich platformer by Paul Hellman and Sean Scapplehorn. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And it's published by 505 Games. Uh, the link is in the description. This is a fantastic game. And as soon as I played it, I fell in love. Now, the reason I don't normally entertain platformers is because of my dreadful skill when it comes to playing them. Which is why I'm introducing the death count. It will be right here on the right as an example right now. Yeah, that was it. And now without further ado, headphones on, lights off, grab a snack, drink, ramen, whatever, and here we go. Horus, man 2.0. This is me getting made. Number one. I wonder if there's gonna be more of me. <laughs> that sound like a murder. Me. Put me in a box. <laughs> and then they drop me. Wow, okay. Dude, there's someone at the door. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm too busy smoking, man. Yeah, he's not happy about that. Papa? Look, he's walking like a drunk baby. Or is this more like a zombie shuffle? A zombie shuffle. Cause it is thriller. Dun, dun, dun. And so, I was born. The first people I remember seeing were the old man, the old lady, and their daughter, Heather. After they'd said hello, the old man powered me down so he could install some software. The last I can ninja? Tell they were nice people. The old man didn't give me a silly voice, or stupid personality. And the old lady didn't dress me like a clown. Although for some reason, Heather really didn't like me. Once I'd had time to Aww. get used to walking, the old man just asked just scared me to of dash me. from one end of the room to the other. Oh, that's run. Okay, that, um, this is a PS4 controller. X is not run. X is jump. This is run. There we are. Sweet. Next, the old man spent a couple of hours building some wooden platforms. He said he wanted me to jump up them. But I must admit, I was scared. It wasn't until I saw Heather and her mother happily climbing up them that I decided it might be okay. Oh. Horus is so cute. Go back in the box. No. I'll be brave. Okay. Look, Daddy! I can do it! The old man then rearranged the platforms 
He told me to try to reach the other end of the room without touching the floor. Heather said, the floor's made of lava. But when I smiled at her, she just frowned and looked <laughs> away. The old lady arranged some pillows and blankets. She said it was in case I fell, but I think she just wanted it to look more like lava. Tell you now, it does look like lava. It looks like lava. When I reached, you'd think I've done this before. The old man <laughs> just <laughs> smiled yeah, yeah. and said, "That'll do for now." Begin. Be bold and venture to be wise. I've learned to walk. Music in this is dope. I love it. A couple of days after those first lessons, the family had a big meal, and I was introduced to everyone else. The professor was the old man's brother. He was very quiet, and always seemed to just, kind of stare at me. He had lived with the old man for five years. The house was so huge they barely saw each other. He preferred instead to stay in his room, leaving everything up to his butler. Mr. Deck. As he insisted everyone call him, although the professor always called him Anton. For a while, he called him a prick. little bastard. But the old man made him stop, as he thought it sounded racist. He kind of does. Mr. Silton was the old man's driver. Before he worked here, he'd gotten in with some bad people and was the driver in a post office robbery. Although it all went wrong for some reason. <laughs> Mr. Silton showed me a video of his band. I'm sure some people must like it, but I just found it. Terrifying. Then there was Alice. She was the cook. She was a nice old lady. When she was younger, she had been a TV chef. Then, years later, she had a small part in Coronation Street. Yo. Mr. Silton said, before she worked for the old man, Alice was quite a hoarder. She kept old newspapers and bicycles. And something about a poo in a shoebox. The next morning, the old man gathered everyone together, to show them what I was capable of. What else does he do? asked Mr. Silton. The old man smiled. He can help around the house. Could he help me with my newspaper collecting? asked Alice. I'm not sure that's a good idea, said the old lady. Yeah, we're he not- can do all sorts of jobs. Yeah, said Mr. Silton. We're not Silton. feeding your hoarder. Sure, stick up his ass and he can do Dick's job. Now, now, said the old Poor man, Dick. we have company, <laughs> pointing to some important looking people. Two large men, both called Gary, set up what the old man referred to as lasers. Gary and Gary. Again, I should try to get from one end of the room to the other, but I shouldn't be worried, as I had a special chip which meant no matter how damaged I was, I couldn't die. He said it was like infinite lies in a video game. But when he realized I didn't understand, <clears throat> whatever that is, explain another time. What's a video game? What's a video game, Daddy? Okay, so yeah, more challenges. Oh, now too slow there. Okay, do this again. I need to think, man. Okay. Did it! Everybody clapped, except the important looking men. Not exactly yeah, a cold calculated killer, is it? Said the man in black. The I don't want to be a killer. Left. What kind of artificial intelligence was that? He asked. Move right, 
unless there's something in the way. Okay, okay, said the old man. He turned to me and whispered, they're going to make it quite a bit tougher. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, you'll, we'll be fine. I'll show him. I am not just a robot. He moves right when something's in the way. I'm smarter than that. I'll show you. I'll show you how smart I am. <laughs> that, that wasn't that wasn't an example of how smart I am. There. Oh yeah. I jumped too high. So, looking at the family, there's... I can really see there's really cool characters in, in this story. And I love all of them. Like, Stilton is... is a bit of a weird one. And I love Deck. I never call. I'm not going to call him Mr. Deck. I'm going to call him Antoine Deck, just to piss him off. And the professor, he's a dick. The Garys then rearranged the room one last time. The old man smiled. Now, now, there's no need to look so glum. He said, "I'm still happy with everything you've done today." So this time, I was determined to do him proud. Your man is definitely my dad. He is... He's my father figure. I mean... Character aside, me, I want to make him proud. I want to make him proud, he's awesome! That did make him proud. Ah. Uh. I don't know if you can tell, but platformers are not my forte. I've had so much fun with this game that I I want to play it. I want to play this platformer. But this is a a deep platformer, this is fun. How's that? Actually seemed quite happy when I made it through. We might have a winner after all. Said the man in black. It's no Killbot 3000, but you can almost see the fire in its eyes. Yeah, I'm not killing nobody. A couple of days later, the old lady said she had a surprise for me. My own room. She also wanted to play me some music. I wasn't sure after what Mr. Silton had shown me. This is how I feel about the music as well. As if music wasn't amazing enough, the old lady then bought me a television. The music set. in this game I is brilliant. What I saw, I watched everything I could: comedy, drama, horror, sci-fi. Anything anyone wanted to watch, I would happily watch with them. Then one day, the old man set up a small box. He plugged some cables into the television and said, "This is what I meant." when I said video games. I played games at every chance I could. I took on everyone. Meta. I was unstoppable. I had enjoyed music, film, and television. But to me, video games really were the highest art form. Take on all challenges. All challenges. Oh, here we go. Our first mini game. So I've seen that this this game has a lot of mini games, and this is our first one. Pong, a pong kind of thing, pong kind of thing. Sorry. 
when I play games with certain people, I end up speaking like that, and it's, I can speak good English. Oh shit! You're not beating me. You're not. This is my jam. I've been playing this game for years. Why won't you lose? No! Okay, this... It was not meant to end up like this. No. No, no. We're getting a rematch. Yes! Yeah, one more, one more, one more. Yeah, no, no, this is my game. It's my game. I've been playing this for years. You're not gonna beat me? Who do you think this is? I gotta stop being... Wow. I gotta stop being cocky like this. I always mess up when I, when I start getting cocky. Wait, wait. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this! This game of Pong is getting exciting. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait! Yes! Heather's birthday was a couple of months later. Her mum and dad had bought her a camera and arranged a day up by the sea so that Heather could take some photos, although I really don't think she wanted any pictures of me. When the old man asked the professor if he wanted to go, he frowned and said, I can't believe you want to spend time with that thing, it could destroy the world. I wasn't sure what he meant, but the old man just smiled and said, that's what you said about the Game Boy. And on, <laughs> how about you? I don't think so. Said Mr. Deck. The last time I got in that car, Barry crashed us into a branch at Woolworths. I never would have gone into Woolworths of my own accord. The old man explained that the car was old wow, and brake failed, but Mr. Deck was having none of it. So Mr. Silton drove, and Alice came along for the fresh air. I enjoyed being outside. Funny. Although, the old lady kept telling me to be careful of the rickety old walkways. It felt like she was telling me off, but I think she was just concerned. So peaceful. So nice. What up, old man? The old man and I stood on the cliff tops. I could see something in the distance. I wasn't sure what it was, so I asked the old man. He said it was a battleship that had sunk in the 1940s. But he looked so sad when he spoke about war. I didn't see what happened, but what? the metal platform Heather was climbing on her collapsed. <gasps> she was safe. Even if the rocks position looked very dangerous. The tide was rising, and we didn't know how long the Coast Guard was going to be. So I offered to climb down and get her. The old man agreed, but said I should be careful, as Heather doesn't have infinite lives, like I do. Okay, okay, okay. okay we've got a lot on the line here. I'm coming for you, Heather! Oh. Heather was unconscious, and her leg was broken. So I picked her up as gently as I could. I decided it would be best if I didn't run the rest of the way. 
It's okay, Heather. I got you. I got you, Heather. We're gonna get through this together. We're gonna get through this together, Heather. I know you, you don't you don't much like me for some reason. Maybe, maybe you're just scared of me. But we're gonna get through this. Because we're friends. An ambulance had arrived by the time I had made it back to the cliff top. The medics made sure Heather was okay, and then took her off to the hospital. A few days later, we all went to see how she was doing. She was fine, but would have to wear the cast for a couple of months. <laughs> oh. oh, that's sweet. Are you thinking too much? Smaller font illegible. Expert study reveals. Tried to calm him down, but he was acting even more bizarre than usual. That's messed up. That's messed up. 